Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It said, and God is able to make all grace. You hear that? God is able. He's able. God is able to make all grace. Amen. All grace. Amen. This is a little bit of just grace here and there with you, but he can he make all oh, grace. All grace. Hallelujah. Abound. Yes. Toward you. Yes, he can. That you always have a sufficiency. Yes. And all things may abound in every good work. Good. We just thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever. Hallelujah. We give We give it with a thankful heart. Right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. We just thank you again. Hallelujah. Well, my Lord, I already passed out the envelopes. We can check the table to Mother Tucker Ministries. Hallelujah. Uh, and if you're mailing it, uh, Post office, my post office box 773, Cross Up, Oklahoma 74101. Online, my type of ministry, dark org. All right, bring me, give some. Thank you, Jesus. Make me a blessing. Yes, Lord.
Praise God what the Thank Lord you. has done for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's to share a little bit with you this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We were we were living on Cheyenne. 2733 North Cheyenne. And we was want a new house. This was our house we were in, but we want a new house built. Oh Praise God. In Gilcrease Hill. And we went and looked at the lot and, and the buy the buyer and, and what it's gonna cost and everything and sent it to the credit and when the, the deal went down everything was looking so good then when the last day they come sending me a letter saying, your credit ain't no good oh, God. Oh, amen and they, they had just like nine road nine miles of bad road bad credit and we didn't had no bad credit somebody had messed up my name and I went down there, and when I got through with those people, it was the Lord doing. Uh -huh. Went down there and find out that when they had to straighten it out, mm. it got that straightened out. Credit went through. By the time the clothing come along, we were on strike. I said, look at him now. I said, everything is happening to us. I said, maybe we shouldn't be trying to get a new house built when we're in a house already. My God. Amen. He was talking something. Amen. On strap. And, and man, the lawyer I was working for, I told him about it. He said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I said, well, I need the money now to pay the clothing costs. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I ain't got that money. Oh, and he, how much you need? He wrote his check out. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we got that straightened out. Amen. I said, look at the devil. He'll fight you tooth and nail when you're trying to move up. Amen. Amen. I know my credit was good. I didn't have no bad record. But somebody had got my name mixed up with somebody else's name and they owed everybody in toll. <laughs> and wasn't paying nothing to nobody. Glory and to they found that my name on to that. I said, how in the world? I said, man, that ain't, that ain't me. I said, call such and such. Uh -huh. I was down the credit bureau about two hours trying to straighten out that mess and it wasn't none of me. Mm -hmm. They apologized mm -hmm. when they found out it wasn't none of me. I said, now nah, my loan won't go through. It calls of this. Yeah, and they called him and got it straight. Thank you, Lord. So his record is good. Thank you, Lord. And that's why the song is a portion of my testimony. Uh -huh. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Amen. 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 He done something for me that morning. Thank you, Praise Thank you, Lord. God. Uh -huh. I'm sitting up there and I know I ain't all those people that have names attached to my name and how much they old and how many gun to shoot. I said, I never got a gun to shoot. <laughs> they said, well, we show him the record. You got two. I know I didn't need you call my company. Amen. Put them on the and they looked at me and kept searching the record. I said, I haven't got all it. Name something. I know that's not me. Yeah, not and I said, get my record straight. It's worse than and just like that, Saints, we need our record straight with God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You can fool some people some of the time, some people all the time, but you can't fool God no time. Thank you, Lord. He knows. Right. Brother Miller says the way through the wilderness. Amen. Go ahead. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I wasn't expecting this, so y'all have to I have to warm myself up. <laughs> Praise God. Brother Pollock already warned me he could do he could start right on out. Praise God and preaching. But anyhow, God is so good to us and we are blessed and highly favored this morning of him. And we thank him for it. Well, we look at the land today. It's a lot of fear going on in the land. I want to give you a sermon of 
one of the sermons today you can apply to your life. It's I, my, and me. All right. Amen. Apply it to you. That's right. And that's no other than but the 27th. Amen. All of that in this book of the 27 Psalm you can use for yourself. Amen. Because he says in the first verse, he said, The Lord is my life Come on. and my salvation. Yes. And you can just stop right there and preach a sermon off of that. Salvation. Everything yes. I need yeah. is in salvation. If I receive salvation, I can use everything. If I walk in ways of the Lord, all of in the book of Deuteronomy, they say, if you keep my commandments, That's right. you just don't think you can just look and read these off of the pages and say they belong to you. Well, they do belong to you, but you got to do something to receive them. Some people, just because they know the Bible from Genesis to the Revelation, they proclaiming all these benefits and not living. Our preacher used to say, a nickel with a dog meat. And expecting the God to heap these blessings upon them. Just because I know they're in the Bible. Just because I read them this morning mm -hmm. and they ain't treat nobody right. My God. My goodness. They belong to me. They belong to you if yeah, you keep his commandments. If you walk in his statutes. Amen. The son, I mean the book of Deuteronomy said he'll overtake you. They'll follow you, and then they not only just follow you, they'll overtake you. That means they'll just uh, hug you and throw you down to the ground, and, and every time you need something, it's already there. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you've got to live right. I'm here to tell you this morning that just because you read it over the pages, don't think you're going home with them this evening after you. you got to do something to yeah. receive it. You don't go to just because you got a job uh -huh. and go there and sit down and wait till Friday or whenever payday come and think they're going to hand you a check out. Uh -huh. You got to work Amen. to get paid Amen. for you. Get your check. We got to work Amen. to receive these blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They in the Bible, sure. They there, brother. They in there. I read them this morning how God will bless you. But don't think that you, you can set up and do anything you want. Just look at gun smoke like I used to look at gun smoke and, and watch gun smoke 12 and 1 o'clock in the nighttime. It ain't, ain't prayed, ain't did nothing, ain't even talked to nobody about God, ain't did nothing, I ain't going to church tomorrow because I'm tired. Yes, my God. That's real. I ain't going to do nothing because this is me. When I went long years ago, let me, I'm going I'm, to just preach, you know, I'm going to preach like God give me to preach this morning. I'm going to preach. If I have to hold myself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. On Sunday morning years ago, right, I used to get up and take my children and my mother-in-law to church. I'd take them and take them and go and pick her up and take them and leave them there. Mm. And you heard that song on the Oasis Network, on the Oasis Radio, don't send them kids to Sunday school get out of that bed and take them. Yes. Well, that song wasn't out then. <laughs> Amen. It wasn't out then. Amen. Because that has been way back in the 70s. Oh, yeah. Around 75. Because I got saved and filled with it in 76. I got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost in 76. So that has been way back there. Mm -hmm. I started taking them back in the 70. I would start sending them back. I was sending them already, but 76, I started taking them. Okay. And stay there with them. Didn't go home and watch no ball game. I used to be a ball game fanatic. 
That's back in the time the Lakers. Back in the time the Los Angeles Lakers playing. They they still playing, but I was caught up behind uh, uh, with this tall guy named I can't even. I, I grew a Jabbar. Oh, you know who I'm talking about. I was caught up in him and Will Chamberlain. They were my two favorite players, and I couldn't miss them. If I knew them, I'm going to watch them. Yeah. And also baseball. I was caught up in <laughs> baseball, St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Stan Musial, I, I was caught up in him. Because I work for him a while, and if they play, I don't care when I'm gonna be there to watch him. But when God said, uh, wow. ball games went out the window, especially on Sunday morning. Right. I got one that's my baby sitting there. He can tell you I didn't get up and sinning no more. I start taking the Sunday school. They did all day long. Hallelujah. Come back home. He went back that Sunday night. Amen. Because God was doing something with me. Taking gun smoke out of my life. Amen. Ball games out of my life. Salvation came into my life. I start reading and seeing what God said he do these things for me. And I got to wonder how come they ain't doing it. I got kind of like a Gideon. Uh -huh. Now, God, if your word said all these things are for me, now how come I'm in such a predicament? Mm -hmm. Old loan comes all around. And look like, yeah, all the money I was making, they were going and beat Amen. 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 Look like every time I make 15 cents above. I was living, I thought I was going to go and buy a bottle of Papa some. I owed somebody. Mm. But I heard about something. They you pay tithes. And then my mother-in-law was paying it. And she would get up on Sunday morning and lift the tithe. And she had open testimony. We was in the church of God in Christ. And they let you open testimony service. And they'll talk about what God is doing. Yes, <laughs> and I begin to listen. Mm -hmm. If God can do this for them, mm -hmm. I will let Gideon, how come he ain't doing it for me? Well, I wasn't in a position to receive all these blessings that God oh, was doing for us. Right. I wasn't in that position. I hadn't got there yet. Oh, but I heard how you get there. Mm -hmm. You start paying your tithes. See, a lot of people in church today and they don't want to pay tithe. Mm -hmm. And then they want to reap the benefit. Come on, you can't reap no harvest if you ain't got no seed in the ground. Oh, God. Glory to God. I don't know how I'm getting, but I'm going to go ahead and the Lord lead me. Go ahead. And then you can claim what the psalmist is saying. The Lord is my life. Light means the when I got some light, I can come in this building. Yeah, yeah. I can see which way I'm going. Amen. The Lord is my life. Tell In other words, I'm going to follow him because he is my guide. Yes, Lord. The headlights on your car is not in the back. <laughs> They're in the front. So you drive it, you're following them lights. Yes. Yes, Lord. You can see which way you're going. If you follow in the Lord, because he heals my life. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. And if I'm following God, I can look at these blessings here, what he got wrote down here, and find out how to get up to receiving those blessings. What God says in his word, a yea and amen. Well, I'm gonna let him out. I'm gonna got to agree with what his word says. Then he will amen it if I do it. That's right. Then I can wait on these blessings That's right. from God if I'm doing what his commandments say. Right. I can't wait on God. I ain't got no seed in the ground. Right. That's 
sitting there waiting on the mailman and know you ain't got no check coming. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 A lot of folk today retired from not doing nothing. Mm. They retired and didn't work long enough to retire. Mm. But they want to wait on a check. Ain't got no money in the bank. Mm. Glory to God. Oh Do you know when you're working, so much goes in retirement for them. And it builds up. And when you retire, you can expect the check to come. But if you ain't got nothing in now, don't expect nothing to come out of there. The Lord is my life. Hallelujah. I'm following God. The devil can't trip me up. They call them following God. The headlights that turn on. And I'm following God. You like the headlights on your car. You don't be looking behind to see how you're going. You look in the front. See which way you're going. And if we follow God, we got to look at his word. See what his word says. Thank you, Jesus. And he is my salvation. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. He's mine. I know he's ours. But we got to proclaim him for ourselves. Hallelujah. Just like he's mine alone all by myself. I like it the way uh, the preacher come on the Oasis Network. He said, the Lord is my God. And I'm his favorite son. Jerry Zirko, yeah. his name. Yeah. And I caught on to what he was saying one day. I said, I'm his favorite son too. And you got to proclaim God just like he's the only God for you. Yes. Glory to God. I'm feeling all right now. Thank you, Jesus. And if he's yours, then you need to be obedient to him. Thank you, Jesus. You need to listen to what he's saying. Hallelujah. There's so much fear going on in the world. So much going on in the world today. No wonder they got it. Every time you turn on CNN and news, they got America in a crisis. Well, they are in a crisis. Hallelujah. I used to wonder when I was a teenager back in, back in the years ago. I wonder, what would 2020 be like? Oh, Glory to God. I was wondering, that was back around in the 1950 something. I was wondering, what would the 2020 be like? And I don't know why I was thinking that far down the road. Oh, now I see what it's like. America is in a crisis. Hallelujah. Yes. Shooting and looting all over the world today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Flu is taking out thousands of people yes. every day. Yes. Glory to God. And just like I told a man in Walmart, so many cool eaters, he was asking me, and he was another man was standing in the corner wondering what the people going to do. And I come walking out of there with a couple of bags. He said, hey, mister, what do you think about all this going on in America? I said, I ain't thinking nothing about it. I said, God is my head. I'm not worried about what's going on in America. Aren't you afraid? I said, man, I got so much peace. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not worried about nothing going on around here. Hallelujah. The day before then, I was in the same store. And I don't know what I was looking for, but the lady had on a mask. She was bent over, and she stood up and bumped against me. And I didn't have on no mask. 
than that frightening her even more. I said, ma'am, I don't have what you think I got. I said, if you got it, I don't want it. Said, Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of me. Because the enemy is out to make everybody afraid. But the Bible tells me, be not afraid, my little flock. Aren't you his little flock this morning? Aren't you his children this morning? He will take care of you. He said, who shall I fear? Otherwise, don't be afraid if he in your life. Don't be afraid of what's going on or what the president's saying. Don't be worried and upset what's going on in this world. If you follow in God, he'll lead you. He'll guide you. He'll sustain you. Whatever it is you need, he will provide it. Because you took him for yourself. And he went on and said, he's my strength. He's my strength. Glory to God. If you're feeling a little weak, proclaim strength in your body. Say, my body is strength. I might not be able to walk without a cane, but my body is strengthened. You hear my wife talk about she hobbles in here on Sunday morning on a cane. Sometimes I have to help her get her clothes on on Sunday morning. Sometimes I tell her, you all to stay, but she hobbled on in her. She's still yet proclaiming healing is mine. I'm healed by the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm healed by His strife. No matter what it looks like, no matter how I feel, I'm the healer of the Lord. Proclaim these things. They call them in the Bible. He wants us to speak them out of our mouth. Don't just think about them as you read them. Speak them into existence. Hallelujah. We got to speak things out. Not just thinking and reading. Then he went on and said, Whom shall I fear? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foe, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fail. But why God got a shield around us? He protect us. Yes. And when we going, yes. we used to sing that old song in the church of God in Christ. Take the Lord alone with you. Everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Because you're going to need him. You're going to need him. Everywhere you go. Thank you, Jesus. They stumble and fail. You know, sometimes that foe means just like an animal, the small one. But we're going to use that this morning just like your own sister and your own brother. Amen. They don't want you to get above them. Some families like that. Amen. Some families don't want to see their relative progress. Wow. They want to keep them down. That's true. They want to talk about them if they're doing better than they are. they Disrupt their name, they put their name in the mud pile. Oh, so and so, though, they think they're something. <laughs> Amen, say. Amen. My name been drugged through the mud pile because I didn't want to do like the rest of the boys were doing. And they talked about me and say I was a chicken. They call me everything. I said, but I ain't got no feathers, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and then Wednesday they come around. Hey, Brian, can I get two off of you? I said, look at my back and see how many feathers can you count. <laughs> if you can count some feathers off of me, then you can get two. <laughs> that stopped them from calling me henpeck. 
Hallelujah. Just because I was trying to do something for myself. When you trying to move up in the world, don't think your friends gonna enjoy it if they're not trying to. Hallelujah. Your name is gonna be mud. Even some parents, and it's sad to say it, but some parents don't want their children to get above them. Oh, that's real right there. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Glory to God. But I always wanted my children to sell more than I did because I didn't have the opportunity to you guys. Come on, that's Go for it. My God. I, I, I'm not going to ever try to hinder one of my children if they got more of me. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to talk good for you can exalt you. Get on up there. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. I'm not going to try to sit in the floor of their blessing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. As I go host and kept about me, you notice he keeps saying me and my so you apply this to yourself. Uh -huh. Don't put this off on somebody else. Uh -huh. This me and mine. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Do a host and count against me. Uh -huh. My heart shall not fear. Mm. My heart shall not fear. I don't care what's going on around me in my neighborhood. Yeah. My heart shall not fear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about it. Thank you, Jesus. A neighbor came over. Well, he was not of my neighbor. But his son lived across the street from me. And he kept, he, he passed by his, he said, you know, I come over here five years ago to buy a home. And I looked at that home right by him, and he said, I didn't like it. And we, we struck up a conversation and start talking. He said, but I sure like your home. Okay. And we got to talking and talking. And, and I uh, went over and took his hand. He, I said, wait a minute, man. I said, listen, I don't have what they're talking about. And if you ain't, if you got it, I ain't going to catch it. <laughs> if you got it, I ain't going to catch it. Come on, you know. uh -huh. what you, you, I know I'm not afraid. I said, do you know Jesus? Thank you, Lord. I heard him talk about it. I said, well, you need to come go with me. That's right. And we'll present Jesus to you on Sunday. Thank He's a keeper. Lord. He's a healer. Thank you, Lord. He's a deliverer. Amen. This Jesus I'm talking about, he know how to cure coronavirus. Amen. I said, but well, you know why it's not cured? I said, a miracle is suffering for the deeds that we had planted. Oh, Jesus. I said, I didn't do them. You might not have done them. Your relatives might not have done them. But somebody done them. Because they're in the battle. This is why we're suffering as a whole. And when we come to the knowledge to accept what's going on and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Repent. Then they're going to stay here and they're going to keep coming here. They're going to keep flourishing until we turn from our wicked way and seek God. They're going to stay here until we do that. I'm talking about as a nation. If we go by and believe what the Bible teaches us, then we can see these things happening to us, what was happening to the Israelites. We've seen this morning, they had got in trouble again. And God allowed a Midianite to come in. Getting in a wine pit. Dressing wine when he should have been out there in the wind where the chap would blow away. But he was hiding from the Midianites because they'll come in there and take it. And we think we better now? We need to turn as a whole from our wicked ways. 
you might not be wicked, I might not be wicked, but somebody is wicked in America. Yeah. Why all these things is happening? Now we 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 still going to hit ninety first song. Amen. Amen. We ain't, we ain't quitting. Amen. We ain't giving that song up. Amen. Hallelujah. We ain't giving it up. Yes. Hallelujah. We got to get that down in us. Amen. What he's telling us. Amen. We got to move up in God, not yes. just stand stagnated. We got to grow. Yes. Amen. And when we grow, Amen. then every little bit of wind won't right. knock Amen. us down. Yes. Hallelujah. When we grow, then we be anchored in the Lord. Yes. The more words you get in you, the more anchored you get in the ground. You in the Lord. The devil has to bring more to you tomorrow than he did today. Why? Because I don't grow. The word said I can do this. Put the word on the devil when he comes. The word said you can't do this to me. Thank and stand you. firm on the word. Amen. Believe the word. Yes. Like the summons is him. Yes. Keep on reading all down through him. I mind me. My, my, my Lord. All about me and God. Not about me and the, the devil. Not about me and the president. Not about me and the neighbor. Me. Yeah. Mine. Yes. I include your family now. Yeah. My God. We can't leave your family is mine. Thank that's you. mine. Thank mine. You. mine. Thank you, Lord. We pray for you. Thank mine. That's my family. Thank so you. that's Amen. one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We use me. That's personal. Yes. Me, Lord. It's me standing in the need of prayer. Yes. Not my brother over there. Not my sister. But it's me. We got to recognize when we get in a situation where we yes. need some help from yes. God. Yes. Yes. Don't call on God and say, Lord, sister, and sister over there, and you know as you need it. Yes. You're going to put it there over there. Then. No, you better say, Lord, I need you. Yes. I need you. Yes. We used to sing that song, I need you every hour. Yes, Lord. In the day, I need you. God. Don't think because you got 15 or 20 cents above your lunch money that you don't need God no more. Uh -huh. But I need you. The rent is paid, but I need you, Lord. The car note is paid. I need you, Lord. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My body's here. I need you, Lord. I don't care where you go. I need you, Lord. Yes. Every day, every hour, I need you. Yes. Some of us get to think we don't need God no more. My rent pay, I don't need God no more. Carno pay, I don't need God. I know some people don't retire. I don't need God. Hallelujah. See, I'm talking to somebody I know now. Uh -huh. say, I'm all right now. Amen. I said, but I need God. Amen. I don't care how long I've been retired. I need God. Amen. Say, how long you been retired? I said, go on 13 years, but I need God. Amen. Hallelujah. I yet need God. Amen. You don't have to get up in the morning, but I need God. You ain't got to worry about finance, right? But I need God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't gonna ever get away from not needing God. Amen. Some folks don't think they need Him until a cloud come up and a few lightning strap come out. Then they go to holler, I need God. Where is the storm show? Hallelujah. Then all of a sudden, they realize they need God. But I need God when the sun is shining. When it's a hundred degree temperature, I need Him. When it's zero weather outside. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 
don't ever think you can get away from God and not need him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 37. I know there's a lot of me and my and I in the Psalm 27. Read that when you got spare time and you see what you can get from God and recognize where you at in God. Psalm 37. I said so much fear is going on in the world. And it seems like they're trying to teach you to fear. You got to stay six paces back from the person in front of you. Put that mask on. And stay back. Don't get up close. Don't bump up against nobody. Because that's contagious. You might catch it. Hallelujah. This is what they're teaching us. Instead of teaching us that God is a healer. Well, see, they don't know nothing about that. And they don't want to accept that. To teach you that. Glory to God. Do you know when that stuff broke out, toilet paper went haywire. Went almost out of reach for poor people to buy. Hallelujah. Why? Because they were gouging. Christ gouging. Because I'm going to get more from this toilet paper. We was in a Walmart. And I seen people running. And I wanted to ask my wife what they're doing. What they're doing over there. And she didn't notice it. But a man ran up to me. I said, what's going on over there? They having a sale? He said, no. They'd rather buy toilet paper than to buy food. Jesus. Wow. I said, what you talking about, man? He said, did you know what was going on? Then he had to, the world said, explain it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't recognize the, the toilet paper. I mean, they were, everywhere you went. I started, I said, well, we better get us some. We had plenty. But they didn't have none in every store I went to. I said, my God. You know, the one walk in the store, toilet paper everywhere. My God. I went to three stores mm. and no toilet paper. My God. I said, my God. Jesus. What is going And then when I found it, it was three times more than what the normal price was. Uh -huh. I said, Lord, look at these people. Mm -hmm. How they doing? Yeah. Every disaster come along, America gouges. I don't care what happened in America. The gouging starts out. Mm -hmm. They see what they can make 15 cents more. Mm -hmm. Because they know you ain't going nowhere else. Amen. Tell the truth, brother. You're going to buy it there. Mm -hmm. Psalm 37. Come on, tell it. 37. Yeah. The summons is telling us, don't get upset. Because of all this stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. Praise God. My God, see, we got some help the world don't have. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. We recognize who he is. Yes. Right. Well, they don't know who Thank he is. Yes. We know that he will yes. bring us out. Yes. And somebody said he's more than a conqueror. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ain't worried about what's going on out there. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. As long as it don't come in my house, I'm not worried about it. And if it comes to my house, it got to knock at the door. And it's going to be up to me to let it in. Hallelujah. So you can let whom you want to in your house. Thank you, Jesus. Otherwise, you can receive whatever you want to. The devil's selling a bill of goods. You want to listen? You can receive it if you want to, but you need to get the word down in you Amen. where you can tell the devil you come too late Thank you, Lord. to tell me all this. Thank you, Lord. The psalmist says, says, don't fret because of evildoers. Neither be thy enemies against the workers of iniquity. Amen. For they shall soon 
be cut down. We wait on God to do our battle for us. We don't get out there with guns and knives and do no fighting. God will cut them down. So they soon shall be cut down. Well, how soon, preacher? Soon as you close your mouth. Hallelujah. Soon as you get your lips off of people. Soon as you look away and let God have it. Hallelujah. See, so many people are praying and get up over their knees and take that problem right on with them. But when you come to God with your problem, leave them there. Because if you don't think God is able to handle them, why give them to them? Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. When you pray, I'm trying to tell you, give them problems to God. And you can read the book of St. Mark's. Believe that you have those things what you ask for. Believe you receive those things you ask for. And then you shall have them. Read the word. Hallelujah. We get out here and phone and pray and slobber and get our clothes all dirty and then get up and go on with the problem back in our own land. I wonder what I'm going to do today. I don't know what to do with it. I've got this bill. I ain't got no job. All kinds of problems. And don't give them to God when you're down here. Give them problems. I'm trying to tell you, when we pray, Give them to God. He's big enough to handle them. Well, hallelujah over here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What will I add in the book of 37? They soon, this in the second verse, they soon, soon as we forget about that we had that problem. When we get our mind off of that problem, when we give it over to God, we should forget about it because it's not mine no more. Amen. That's it, God's. I heard a, a brother Amos talking on the radio. I've been to his church several times. Amen. And he was talking about he had a problem with some sickness. And he heard Somebody else say, when you pray, give it to God. He was telling you, the radio audience, just like I'm telling you what I'm talking about right now, give them to God. And when you give them to God, they ain't yours no more. Because you done gave them to somebody else. Amen. If you give me a pocket hatchet, don't come tomorrow and ask me for because you give it to me today. But Brother Ingram said he was praying and he don't know when that problem left, the symptoms left out of his body. Because he gave them to God. This is when you really give something to God. You don't watch the time and you don't, wreck, don't go around. Well, it ain't gone yet. It ain't gone yet. It's been had an ache right here. It ain't gone yet. You watching it just like watching the clock. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And done told God about it. Yeah. You get that problem to God. Yeah. And let him fix it. Yeah. We sing a song. Jesus yeah. can work it out yeah. if you let it. We don't let him when we take it back. Come on, man. Get back to me, Jesus. I got to hurt some more. I got to go around here and live some more. Oh, they ain't healed yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, Brother Engel said, he don't know when that problem and symptom left because he had to give it to God. Well, the next day, the devil brought it back to him and was reminding him and he brought it to some people. 
See, this is what we got to be watchful. Mm -hmm. If I tell you, brother, I'm healed, tomorrow don't you come and ask me, is you still healed? Uh -huh. That's real. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's See, the devil works through people. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. And he come and talk to him and say, Brother Ema, are you still yet here? And he said, I just went to rebuking him. And said, you come too late to bring that. I give that promise to the Lord and it don't belong to me no more. Hallelujah. When we give something to God, don't reach back and take it with you. Because it don't belong to you. You gave it to him. The Lord is my life. And he's my salvation. Whom shall I be? Don't fear. Don't go around fear what the devil is talking about. Don't go around fear and worry because you lose a lot of sleep behind worry. Thank you, Lord. He don't want us to worry about nothing. He want us to get just like the little boy were riding a freight train years ago. I was told this a little bitty boy that when they had the they call the butcher boys on the freight train. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then the freight train got out of control. Oh my goodness. And went to the house. Otherwise, they had a runaway freight train. Yeah. Everybody was wondering what they're going to do or what's going to happen down the road. Then this little bitty boy sitting there, his feet wouldn't long enough to touch the floor. And he was just a swing at his feet. <clears throat> Said, little boy, aren't you afraid? No. And the little boy just kept swinging his feet. Said, boy, ain't you afraid? He said, no, sir, I'm not afraid. He said, why not you afraid? It's because my daddy is the captain. Absolutely. Hallelujah. My daddy is the captain. I'm not afraid of Corona flu. Because my daddy is in control. He's just in control of this problem that we have here today. Don't look away and think that his eyes is too heavy. Isaiah said that his eyes is not too heavy that he can't see you. And he said also that his ears is not so heavy that he can't see Hear you. God is yet in control. He ain't went blind. His ears haven't stopped up. God is still yet knowing what his children are going through with. And it's set time God going to deliver up just like he delivered the Israelites. God ain't went to sleep on the throne. Neither have he fell off it. He's yet in control. Yes, yes. Only thing we got to do is believe in his word and yes. do his word. Yes. Keep his commandments. Yes. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, he said, trust the third verse. We got to do something here. And the word is trust. Yes. We got to trust. We trust in weapons. Mm. Well, sometimes we trust in people. We trust in security law system. But we got to trust in the law. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in the law. Yeah. Why are you trusting? Do good. That's in your word. Mm -hmm. Don't think you can trust God and not do good. Say, I'm here to trusting in the Lord. I need a job. I'm just trusting in the Lord. I need the food on the table. I'm just trusting in the Lord. You ain't getting up making no kind of effort to get none. You ain't trying to look for no job. I'm just trusting in the Lord. Some people, they got an education. I'm going to live by faith. I ain't going to have to work for God going to supply me. Mm -hmm. and that movement was right here in Tulsa. When we was on Harvard over there, 
we was there for a few months. People come in there and, and if I could get the money that I loan out, mm. I'll give out. I give it out for I did, they didn't give it back to so it wasn't no loan. Okay. Hallelujah. They was living by faith. Okay. Rhema Bible College students. Mm -hmm. A lot of them come through there. And I'm trying to call they was in college. I'm living by faith. And now I don't I ain't heard they were living by faith until they got my pocketbook. Okay. Then when they got my pocketbook, then I could hear I said, Well you won't get no more of my money. I'm going to work every day. Okay. I work on the job. Mm -hmm. Eight hours, sometimes ten. Mm -hmm. And God and I, and I know I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And you that going to college and the Lord gonna do more for you than he done for me. And I think God wants you to work. Amen. Don't sit here and wait till heaven open the door and fill your covenant up. You got to work. Go and get you a job and supply those needs that your family need. Because you the head. If God puts you the man and you marry, you the head. Way God look at it, you the head. And you need to be, be out there doing something. Don't send your wife and children out there and you sit home and watch guns. No, you get up. Look for a job. And if you looking, God will help you to find one. If you sincere about that. He said, trust in the Lord. That don't mean that you put your job down. I'm going to quit my job. I'm just going to trust God. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and barely thou shall be fed. The light, that's what gets so deep. I'm going to get all this I can get. Everything I God got for me, I want it. I'm going to get I'm going to get in this word. I'm going to get in here to light myself in the Lord. I'm going to find out what to do over here, how to do it over there, how to conquer this enemy, how to do this. Get down in God just like you done got mixed up in some cake mixing. It's stirring all up there. It's going to make a good cake. I'm going to delight myself in the Lord. Whatever he says, whatever he says, whatever, I'm my what's going to be yes. Ain't going to be like Gideon was. I need a fleece. I ain't gonna be like Moses was. I can't talk plain. I ain't gonna be like Jeremiah. They all have some complaints. But God delivered him. God set him free. He made way for them out. But we don't need to be back there now. We don't learn what they did. Amen. <laughs> when we read this, this is for us. Amen. To look at what they come from. Now we don't need to be down in what they were in. We went to school. Now, my children don't need to have to come up the way I did because they had better opportunities than I did. They taught better in the classroom than they did me. Amen. Amen. When I was going to school, <laughs> I'm going to share this with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Years back, been a long time ago. They had a book. 15 or 20 students had to read out of that one book at school. We didn't have books to take home to study. One book, 15 or 20 students that passed it around. And if you didn't know how to read, the teacher would stand right there beside you and coach you into reading that book. And they pass it around. This is what I'm talking about. When I was in the first grade, because that's not yesterday, been past yesterday now. But we done come a long way. That's when I say a song, look where you brought me from. Amen. See, y'all ain't don't know what I'm I've been back there. Way back there with one pair of shoes per year. Way back there when the shoe sole come out, tied it up with 
Hey, Bailey, and why? Way back there when you didn't have money. Well, tell it, like you got now. I know where he brought me from. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not this far to be looking back at the world in fear. I'm not going to fear on, what's going on because I know God has brought me a long way. I know God has done so much for me, I can't tell it all. Because he's been good to me and he's yet good to me. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's go to the 37th. No, we have the 37th. Let's go to Matthew 8, chapter. So much fear is in the world. It's sad. We are running around. A whole lot of God's people is fearful. And know what God done done for them. Know what God done brought them from us as a whole. But yet we fear right along with the world, wondering and hoping that it don't come nigh us. We're worrying about what's going on. Come on, and when we need to death, is the song to turn it over to Jesus Hallelujah. and let him work it out. Yes. Amen. St. Matthew got the eighth chapter. Praise God when we are here on the 18th verse. Now when Jesus, this ain't Matthew 8, 18. Now when Jesus saw a great multitude about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. Come on, brother. And, this, and certain scribes came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whatsoever thy goeth. And Jesus said unto him, The foxes have holes. The birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has not where to lay his head. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. And when he was entering into a ship, this is what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> when he was entering into a ship, his disciples followed him, and behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, so as much that the ship was covered with the water, with the waves. But he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. Come on now. And Jesus, and he said unto them, Why are you fearful? Why are we in America fearful? After all where God has brought us from. We used to walk. I remember my mother, because my dad didn't go to church at that time. We'd walk three, four miles on a gravel road. So I come from a long way. They didn't have pavement where we were there. When we get to town, then we could pull our shoes off because it was pavement in town. Praise God. You remember yeah. Oakland and Macon? Why? When we get to Oakland, and then we pull our shoes off on the <laughs> concrete with them. It wouldn't hurt our feet. But we walk to church. Three and three and a half. We were three and a half. Some people walk. They were further than we were. Oh my God. To church. My mom would go on Sunday and and on when the revival was going on in the weekday and morning and in the nighttime we'd be walking to church. Amen. Why? Because she's knowing and depending on God to do something about our situation. Amen. My mom was, she's a firm believer that God was going to fix it. And I used to hear her talking to my older sister, God's going to fix this for me. 
I didn't wonder, what is she talking about? And I was sort of like Gideon. I'm standing here, my shoes got wire in them, and saying, I'm like, God going to do it. I'm, I'm just about like this. Why ain't he doing it now? How come God ain't give us no car? My God. <laughs> dad got a car. He's my daddy, but he got a car. Amen. Car at another woman's house. Y'all yeah, come a long way, you say. Had a lot of envy and strife in me behind that. Uh -huh. But you know, God fixed that thing to me. And me. We went to Memphis and knocked on the door, and I got that thing straight with my dad of what I come up with. I talked with him for hours, and we cried together. Okay. And cried it out. And when I left and come back to Tulsa, Oklahoma, I was free. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I said I was free. free. I didn't have that Glory. down in me no more. Thank you. About how I went, how I come up, how I missed school, how I walked around with hay bale and wine in my shoes. My God. Thank you, Lord. How I walked where I went. Thank you, Jesus. And we got a car. I told him all about it. Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God fixed that thing where I could get all that junk out of me and told him before he left this world and got that problem straightened out and he asked me to forgive him and I did. I said I did and I didn't just talk from the top of my head. I did from here. God is straight now. Yes. And he lived, I don't know how many more years he lived, but he got to be 102 years old wow. before he left this world. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes we go through something in order to get strength and to be able to tell somebody else how to get through it. Amen. That's why I'm saying here. The Lord is my life. Yeah. He's my yeah. salvation. Amen. I wish I had that. We got it printed on some paper. Mm. And how we read all that to you. What the salvation word means. Preservation. Long life. And every, like just everything we need in this life. Amen. Is in that word. Amen. Salvation. Amen. And if we go on and look. God, I thank you. Get up in the morning when you ain't got a piece of toast to eat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We get up in the morning. I, I should have stopped at the store. Why didn't you get some bread? Why such and such? Thank the Lord that you're in good health. Amen. Thank the Lord you're able to walk around. Get up and thank the Lord. And I'm telling you, walk around your house. And praise God. Bless the Lord. Thank you for the house. I thank you if you got a car. It may not be what you want. But thank the Lord I got a car. Thank the Lord it gives me from point A to point B. Thank you. Might not be the best in the world. Thank you, Lord. I live on the wrong side of the track. Thank you, Lord, that I'm able to live in a house. Hallelujah. You praise God for what he already done for you. Amen. Don't get up and go to begging God. Thank God for what he done already Amen. done. Amen. Some of us, God of me like he don't know. I just said his eyes are not too heavy. He can't see. He don't wear no glasses. He ain't blind. He still yet can see. And he can hear. But when we get in the mood and when we move up there where we don't go to asking questions all the time and go to grumbling and mumbling all the time, God will go to hearing our prayer. Amen. I said God will go to hearing our prayer. But we get up and go, God, my children, my this, my that, my this. And I ain't worried about the neighbors down the road. The street people ain't got nowhere to stay. No, nothing to eat. 
And we ain't worried about praying for them. My, and we stand up watching the 55, 60 inch screen TV and somebody ain't got nothing to watch and you ain't thanking God for that. We in air conditioned people out there fanning under the shade. You ain't asking God to help them. Our prayers ought to be on somebody else more than us. Amen. Glory to God. Pray for your enemies, even God's word says. Pray for them. Now you got to be done moved up a long way. Amen. Go to praying for your enemies. Glory to God. He said do it, didn't he? Yeah, Lord. Thank then his Jesus. word said do it. Yeah. You, but you can't be in the stagnated like we oh, I ain't it's like a drunk man move up and then he back back two or three steps and then try to take off, make one and back oh, back yeah. two. Yeah. That's the same way some God people live. Uh -huh. yeah. Sunday yeah. morning they grow a little bit, Monday morning back back two steps. Oh, Lord. They lost what they had. Mm -hmm. oh, Hallelujah. When we get something from God, treasure it. Don't go out there and let the devil take that away from you. Thank you, Lord. Tell you, no, that ain't for you today. Amen. All of God's word is for you today. Amen. They tell you, no, that was back there. For, I, I walk away from people when they go to tell me, well, that just happened back in the Bible. I say, it's still yet good today. Amen. I say, if God want me to go by this word, then this word is for me too. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I don't, I don't stand in argue with nobody uh -huh. Amen. about the word of God. Thank you, Lord. I ain't got no hair on my head, but when I did have hair on my head, I used to go down to the barber shop on Greenwood, get it cut, and they would be arguing the Bible. I'd be praying hard and her up and cut my hair. I don't want to hear all this. I don't want to hear what y'all in here talking about. Hurry up and get through with me and I get out of here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Arguing and arguing about what the Bible says. Amen. And believing what no, this is for that. Don't you believe? I, uh, they got me. I said, I don't know what y'all talking about. Please get through with my hair. And that's what <laughs> I think Roy was singing that he was my barber at that time. Roy, cut my hair and did you talk about that Bible when I get out of here? <laughs> hey man, I didn't want to hear them argue mm -hmm. about the Bible. My God. And I don't want to hear nobody today arguing about the Bible. Amen. You might inter interpret it this way and I interpret it that way, but we don't need to get in an argument about it. Thank you, the Bible said pray and let God give you. Amen. If you don't, if it, if you're coming from your mouth and I don't understand it, then I, this office is him. Get on my knees and ask God to open it up to me that I might understand it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And He'll do it. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Well, let's go to the psalm. I said I was going there. Yeah. We ain't gonna let that psalmist die. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Cause God has been too good to us. Yeah. And hey man, just going to hit a few verses of it. Praise God. God is too good. Is the Psalm 73. Uh -oh. You remember what the psalmist said in the book of 73? Psalm said, Truly God is too good to Israel. Mm. My goodness. But as for me, mm -hmm. I almost think. Because I was envious at the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your eyes done got off of God and you go to looking at people prosper out there and you wondering why and how come they got so much. How come they car is looking better than yours? Mm -hmm. And I know I'm doing I know I'm living right. I know I'm I'm going on. And see, they might be getting nailed some other way. And and then you're wondering how come them, how come you prospering that old wicked person and all that. That's what the son said. Because I begin to look at the prosperity of the wicked. So when you take your eyes off of God and go to looking at the wicked prosper, then your eyes ain't on God. 
and you're going down. See, you know, I told you a while ago, God needs to be just like a headlight on your car when you're driving at night. You following the headlight. You're not following the tail lights. Amen. In other words, your eyes is open and focus on what his word is saying. Not what the enemy is saying out there. Because God going to bring you through it. Whatever it is. Look at 13, 14, and 15 Amen. with me. Amen. We know all about what the psalmist said. If you're in the secret place, we discover the secret place was in the love of God and abiding in his love and all of this. And if you're abiding in his love and walking in his love, then more than you're going to know about it. Amen. Your love is going to spread. It's going to, somebody going to feel it. The care, you can sit down beside somebody and you know they show enough love. You know that person. Love. Yes. You can walk in a building where the whole lot of people there. And if you got the love of God about it in you, like this son is saying, they, they going to know it. They'll know there's somebody here different from me. They'll feel it. That's the first verse, but we're going here to the 13th. It says, Thou shalt tread upon lions and adders and young lions and dragons. Shall thou tre tremble under their feet. These enemies, all these bad enemies, all these different types of spirit people yeah. carry. You ain't got to worry about them. Don't be fearful. Don't be fearful. All these people got these wicked spirits. Don't be fearful. But don't go there stirring up. Uh, see, a lot of people got, I got so much Holy Ghost down in me. I can walk in this place and tell them how to run. I can walk in this place and tell them Jesus said that. No, no. No, no. That's true. God don't want you to go out there and, and, and act no monkey or fool or something. Amen. See, I've seen people do that. Working on the same job I was walking around with a Bible going to tell me, I can do more for God on the job that they pay me. I can make my mind. I said, why don't you get on out? And I wasn't no supervisor. I said, well, listen, brother. Why don't you get on out of here and go to work <laughs> carrying your Bible? And, and, and amen. And, and, and if you can work and make more money doing that, why don't you get on out there and do that before they fire you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. People think that cause you filled with the Holy Ghost and got some word down in you that you can go on a company job and run it like you want to. But they hired you to work. They didn't hire you to come in and walk around and demonstrate. Uh -huh. Especially if you got a title in owning that company. See, at that time, this, this there were several young men, they were suppliers in own the company. They were supplying stuff to different machineries to build pumps. And if they didn't have the supplies there, the pump builder was down. Otherwise, he didn't go get his own part because they had him hired for it. And he sat down and drank coffee. Mm -hmm. Didn't worry about getting a pump made. And it wasn't his job to worry about it. Because right. he got people to supply him. That's people right. bring this stuff to him. All the parts they had, paperwork on it, before he got it. Amen. Well, these young men were walking around with Bibles and stuff, you know. I can do all this, and everybody done, done got down where well, they, they weren't supplying nobody. Five or six bills was down. Wow. Otherwise, they weren't broke down, they were sitting down, and they were <laughs> sitting down because they wasn't, didn't have no supply to build the pump. Come on. Mm. Amen. Amen. They didn't have the stuff there, and there wasn't any job to go get it. 
And then they sat there and drank, and some of them, that's when they were lying, smoking on the job. Some of them were smoking and joking and doing everything, but they said none of And I done told the young man, when men get on march, you get the people supplied, and then you go and witness when you get the opportunity. But don't go around here and make no uh, opening to witness. I said, if you're really true enough, true, true enough, sent by God, he'll open the door for you uh-huh. to yes. witness. Yes. God will give you opportunity to witness. Sure. But yeah. don't go around here with your Bible and trying to make that like you telling the company, I'm going to do this. Uh-huh. I got an opportunity to do this. Now, go get your work done first. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But they didn't do it. And they will they end up going out the door with their Bible and all. <laughs> Amen. It's sad and, and, and it grieved me to see they both have been knowing Christian folk trying to witness. And hadn't otherwise the devil know some people know they need saving. But you're gonna take your Bible out there and beat them down on the head. You need to be no. It's a way to do that. God will give you an opportunity and a time to do it. Amen. You go around there and beat somebody in the head. Man, you quit that smoking. You know you need to get saved. I seen them doing that. I just stood back and Lord, help my brother. I couldn't talk to him myself. But I tried to help him all I knew how. But anyhow, read on. Thou shalt tread upon the lions and adders and the young lions and the dragons and shells of the shrimp uh, under their feet because he had set his love. Uh-huh. This is what I really want you to get in your mind, in your heart, and treasure this. Because he had set his love on high. Wait a minute, I didn't read that right. Because he had set his love upon me. Therefore, I would deliver him. I will set him on high. Jesus. Hallelujah. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Oh my God. Huh? We can talk about you. I know Jesus, 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 Jesus is trying to run away and live like the devil. Phone at the mouth when we come to church. And the neighborhood don't want you to live around there because you're so bad, so mean. They want you to be gone every day. Amen, some church people are like that. We get into church, we... We did need a tongue run away from us. Talking about Jesus. When we really know God. When we really take him as my salvation. Yes, Lord. When we really walk in God. The world will know the difference. Thank you, Lord. They might not live right, but they know when you do. Hallelujah. And the word goes on and says, He shall call upon me, uh-huh. and I will answer him. Yeah. It don't take all day to call upon God. Mm-hmm. If you're really living for, for God, yeah. and you're really keeping his word, That's right. you're really walking in his statutes, right. God will come down and deliver you. Oh, he God. said with long life. I will satisfy him. I'm looking for a hundred years. Glory to God. I proclaim a hundred. Thank you, Lord. My daddy got a hundred and two. And my sister, I talk to her every Saturday morning. Amen. And she done got to be a ninety-two. I said, I'm going to a hundred. Right. She said, I don't know when I'm gonna leave. I said, we keep on. Living because I'm going to a hundred. Right. Thank you, Lord. 
Glory to God. How can you tell it? Uh, because you got to proclaim Lord something. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Speak something out of your mouth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let God put his approval up on it. Yes. Keep God's word. Lord. He said, if you dwell in a secret place, yes. if you live with God in that secret place, pass on already enough. Describe what his secret place was. Yes. Get in the love of God. Right. Walk in the love of God. Right. Share the love of God. Come on. Mind God. Then God honor that word. Yes. You, because his name is love. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And we demonstrate that love. Yes. We don't have to go around every day talking about our love. No. I love Jesus, child. And a bit of alcohol sitting over there, I'm gonna drink it when I turn my back. I love Jesus, child. I knew people did that. I said I know people did that. Hallelujah. We're living on Cheyenne and Tulsa. People, they, they they could preach if they wanted to, but they was alcoholists. And they know the word of God. They could preach all day. Yeah. But, and then they, t you go around them. If you didn't know them, ooh, them good old Holy Ghost people. <laughs> you didn't know them. Oh, they put on the form of God. Mm. Like, ooh, you didn't, if you didn't really know them, didn't have nobody about who of them folk. You think they were just disciples of Christ or something and come back to earth <laughs> where they talk <laughs> but turn your back <laughs> and hear them look back see this that, that spirit is yet alive Amen. God people today my God. my God we need to be for real that slogan in Missouri be for real <laughs> We need to be for real yes. saints of God. If you talk about me, I still yet got to love you. Amen. I got to pray for you. Thank you Lord. A lot of people hate tr President Trump, but we need to pray for him. Yes. A lot of times I turn the TV off because I don't want to hear but I pray for him. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A lot of times he said, I really, no, I don't want to hear that. President, I turn him off and pray for him. Amen. Cause he told us in the word yeah. to pray for him. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. See, we got to be real saints. Yes, Lord. Don't care how bad they treat you or what they do to you, you need to pray for them. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm gonna quit. I ain't stupid. I'm gonna quit. Praise God. Remember, don't fear. He didn't give us the spirit of fear. Even Paul talked about that to Timothy. Mm -hmm. God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. But he gave us the spirit of power. Yes. And of love. See, this was his secret place is again love. Yes. We got to demonstrate. We don't just don't go around. I love you, child. I love you. Remember, I love you. Uh -huh. We use it all kinds of ways. I love you now. But you need to demonstrate that love. Yes, amen. Yeah. Instead of talking it so much. Yes, a lot of folks can say love all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to action, mm -hmm. see that word means action. Yes, it does. Love is an action word. Yes. Meaning that you need to be doing while you're talking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You love me and you need, need, you see I'm out of gas out there. I love you, Brother Brian, Dad. I love you. And drive on off and leave me struggling. Uh -huh. That ain't demonstrating that love. Okay. But if I ain't got gas money, go buy me some. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You demonstrate then. That's right. That's right. Don't tell me you love me and you know I need something. I need That's help. Right. James described that. How can you say you love your brother and you see him in need? Mm -hmm. And then you shut up your Bible. God, help I'll us. dwell the love of God in you. Help us, Lord. Amen. We talk about it all day long. But until we go to demonstrate it, it's just like pouring water on a duck's back. Yeah. Oh, the just roll right off. 
Amen. Amen. The altar is open. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. The altar is open. I don't know why.